guys, I'm having some trouble finding Brianna this week. Do you want to help me look for her so we can get started on our craft? It doesn't look like she's over here anywhere. I can't see her over here either. Let's go check around the corner. <gasps> There's her car. She could be over there. Let's go see. <gasps> there she is. We see you, Brianna. You found me. Yeah, what do we have for the craft today? take a look. Okay. The craft that we have in store today is spray bottle painting. I'm so excited. Oh goodness, me too. Woo. Some of the materials that we will be using today include canvases of any size that you would like, paint and spray bottles. Now we chose to do a variety of colors. You can feel free to use any different color that you would like. We chose to put white in some of the spray bottles to make it a little bit more light to have a different variety of colors. We also suggest that you add some water to your paint in the spray bottle because otherwise it may be a little bit difficult to spray. You can also use tape to make cool and funky designs on top of your paper. So what you'll do is put the tape down, spray the paint on top, and then basically what happens is the paint will not show up where the tape was. Well, you could also be using some pool noodle pieces to make a design on your painting. You can also use foam stickers or any kind of sticker that you like to make a similar design. This one is a really cute butterfly. And lastly but not least, because everyone deserves to have some sparkle in the light, so we have a bunch of different sparkles we can choose from to add on top of our painting one finish. For our craft, we decided to move outside so there was less of a cleanup and it wasn't as messy. Mm -hmm. So for my design, I chose to put some painter's tape all along the corners and I'm gonna use some little pool noodles here as a little design. For my design, I chose two bigger strips of painter's tape just around the corner and also a foam sticker butterfly. Okay, now that we've got all of our designs ready to go, it's time to get our paint on! <laughs> First thing that you're gonna wanna do is grab your paint mixture, hold your finger over the top so it doesn't spill anywhere and give it a good shake to mix it all about. The first color that I'm choosing to use is a light green. What I'm going to do is just point it at the paper and have at her. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna choose my pastel purple here. I'm going mm. to use the dark pink. Let's use the pastel blue. Oh, pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just finished painting, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off these foam pieces here. This is my finished product. I'm going to leave the sticker on there until it's dry. We personally love glitter, so we're going to add some to ours. You can choose any color that you have on hand and just give it a go. Our masterpieces are almost finished. The next step is to let the paint dry. We'll see you guys then. So now that our paintings are dry, we are going to go ahead and take the stickers and painter's tape off. Wow, these are so nice. Mm -hmm. I love yours. Thanks, I love yours too. Should we do the grand reveal? We should. All right. Whoa! Here are four examples of how our crafts turned out. Remember, the sky's the limit. You can be as creative as you choose. Thanks so much for joining <laughs> us, guys. We hope to see you next week for our moving and grooving week. Woohoo! Woo <laughs>